Alright guys, here we are for another trailer review. Today we're going to be reviewing the trailer for the movie Red Sparrow. What's Red Sparrow, Stefan? Uh, I believe this is... Uh, actually, I don't know if this is that what I'm thinking of. It's I a prequel to a, The Hunger Games. I thought it was a Netflix thing, but n as uh. I'm looking at the stars in it, I'm like, I don't know, I guess Netflix has a lot of money. No, nah, well, um, so Joel, Joel Edgerton was just in Bright, and Jeremy Irons will do anything apparently because he's Alfred in the fucking Justice League movies. Well, yeah, you gotta have a hobby. He wants to get paid. Yeah. I, I respect him. Yeah. Recklessness. It's a 20th Century Fox, so now I'm less, less inclined to think it's a red figure. Mary Fox. Louise Parker. All right, this has a really good cast. I really like Jeremy Irons. I think Jennifer Lawrence is fine. <laughs> and Joel Edgerton has impressed me now several times that I can vaguely remember. I have very mixed feelings on Jennifer Lawrence because yeah. because she like knows she's like an it girl. She like, heard, like yeah. fucks shit up. I heard someone say... Um, because, the, you know, people were, were, like, going back and forth about some fucking thing. I haven't seen many things with her in it. I thought that she was fine. I didn't understand why she was, like, an it girl. She really phoned in for that one X-Men. And then someone was talking about that movie Joy, where she's, like, has a shotgun. She's, like, running the shit. Do you remember the fucking... No? Didn't see it. Uh, I didn't see it either. But somebody reviewing it said, like, Jennifer Lawrence always looks like she's playing dress-up in, like, her, her, like, mother's clothes when she does roles like this. And I was like, holy shit. Shots fired. Well, how fucking, old is she? Fucking savage. It doesn't matter. Matter. Like when you cast someone to be something and everyone is on board and likes it or something like that. If you're not really doing the role properly, it's like. But I think that like Reese Witherspoon, you were never like she can't no, be. No, no, she can't be. But Reese anything. Witherspoon, like I, I like and respect her as an actress, and, right. and I don't feel the same way for Jennifer Lawrence no, no. because of how she is like they were handled roles and be like it's no. about me. I need to be featured. Really? I don't want to be wearing this makeup. I want to blah blah blah. Oh yeah, fuck. And that like shit. being that she's an it girl, a lot of like studios yeah. are forced to no, cast no. her, and she uh, may not exactly fit a role, but they know she has that built-in audience. So while the movie might be worse, it'll make more money. The comment. Was was not about her physical appearance. It was about her lack of acting ability to like sell sure. the fact that she was actually a no, fucking no. thing. Okay. Th that's part just, of what I'm saying. Just, just to be clear about the whole thing, because I wasn't yeah. saying she looks too young or something no, no, like, like that. She but, can clearly uh, play, you know, like a person with a bow and arrow or something. Uh, I didn't see but, the Hunger Games either, and apparently, maybe she's—I don't know if she she's was good okay. In that. I thought the boy was better. I don't know if his name is the Bridge of Terabithia guy. The boy. <laughs> He's a man now. I don't know. Uh, eventually, it happens. Eh, let's check this out. There's nothing wrong with that. No. But it does nothing for me. Yeah. Um, I thought the accents were fine. Like, uh, <laughs> let's start with what's really important: the accents. Well, are no, fine. that's a big part when you have someone who's obviously not, you know, Russian. Yeah, no, I feel Russian, right. I, I thought the accent was fine. She yeah. didn't. She didn't falter there. No, um, and she doesn't seem to be bad at acting or whatever. I mean, she's doing a very specific thing here. We just talked a bunch in the preamble about maybe she's not good or something. Maybe she is good. I don't know. No, she seemed fine in this role. Uh, I, I didn't not believe anything that I was seeing. Uh, visually, it all looks pretty good. The plot is kind of generic. Um, like, if I want to well, see right. something it's about, like, like, you know, secret society training things, I'd rather watch something like The Kingsman. I was just going like to say, lighter, uh, you know. Yeah, I was just going to say, this is like Kingsman, but not as fun, yeah. like, in a lot of ways. And I guess you could, I could watch this and just pretend real quick that it's like the Black Widow uh, solo movie or something like that, right? Or I like, feel like it's going to be two and a half hours, and I'm going to be like, God damn it, why is it so long? I know, yeah, this is the whole thing. Like, if you want to, uh, is it, hmm. Uh, there's a lot of things that I could say that could be turned against me uh, constantly for everything else. But I like, like them that way. Like, if you're going to do this, you should do something new, right? Is is the new interesting thing that it's Jennifer Lawrence or that it's well done? The cast seems really good. This seems fine, like we're saying. Um, I just don't know if I want to, like, endure it. <laughs> That's what <laughs> Does that make sense? I, th that might <laughs> even be a good way to put it, is that, like, there's nothing new enough about this that I, I'm like, yeah, yeah I want to catch that. Like, like I, the I, actors, of course, are good. Um <laughs> Like, like, uh, like, 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 I want to remember this and like list it when I list her, at, you know, acting credits or like uh, his acting credits. Even that other dude, the the Matthias whatever guy, I've seen him a lot. I think he was in the Inglorious Bastards as one of those mm -hmm. people. Like, like, I like him a lot too. I like uh, like a lot of people. The like woman who's like the head of the like Sparrow Academy and stuff has been in a lot of stuff. She's really good too. Like, it's a great cast and it's gonna be, I guess, a good movie or whatever. But I just want to like remember this movie and say, yeah, no, Jennifer Flores has. has has a great resume. Look at this. Look at that. And never. I, I don't want to spend the two and a half hours or whatever it's going to be to go through it, though, right? Yeah. And I get a little skeeved <laughs> out. Like, 
Like, I understand she's an adult, but she still strikes me as a very young person. Okay. Like, I, I see her and I'm like, I'm like, yep, that's like a 17 year old. Oh, she does, year old. she does not pair with Joel Edgerton. Yes, at all, right? and like okay. them together, it just it, it strikes me as like borderline pedophilia. When, he, of course, again, she is an adult, he is an adult. Well, they're acting, I think, but they don't so, they pair up so oddly because he strikes me as like a 40 something year old. He man. has like squinty old face hairline head, yes. right? And she has like young, whatever, always going to be so, un, until she's 42 she's gonna look uh, you know 26 or whatever it yeah. is or 22 or whatever so like yeah no it's a, it's a weird matchup and like it would fit it, uh, but he's like the good the good guy American guy who's we have yeah. to make them pay guy he's not yeah it's interesting weird weird casting choice right you wanted like a like a baby face like a Chris Pratt or someone to be like the American in there. But even when she parkouring. was paired up with Chris Pratt, I thought they weird? were weird. I oh, thought, really? I yeah, liked I that. Thought, I thought that was a little weird. I never saw Passengers, but... I didn't I, see it either, but the trailer, I, I, I was, it was like, a they, cool look, pairing. they look... And she was even oh. younger then, because that was when I think she was like legitimately 18 or something. The farther right? you go like, back, the younger she gets. It's, it's weird. weird. It's fucked up. Um, I, I would. I always love during these types of things to like look up the ages because sometimes you find out. Oh, they're only four years apart. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But it, it, it's more it's the visual. It's, though. Yeah, it, it's more about the look and about like the choices because she has a, a specific look. And this trailer shows you. Oh, my mama is sick, and I have these bangs and all this shit. And then the it bangs cuts, really make her look young. Yeah, and then it cuts to fucking Joel Edgerton being like, "Hello, I'm scruffy wearing a suit and stuff." And you're like, "Oh man, what's happening?" I love the guy who you needed no accent for. You added a different accent. <laughs> He uses an accent when he first meets her. I think he's he, you know, he's an undercover American. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to see this. He's English, it doesn't though, look right? bad though. I thought it was American. Uh, I mean, like in real life. I th- I, I, oh, I, I have no idea British. what he is in real life. Everyone's British, so probably. Good actors are British. I'm British. That's how it works. I've been British my whole life. You didn't yeah. know. I lost my accent being here too long. I just hide it. <laughs> I'm just I'm just brutal. Yeah. Uh, no. So so how do we rate this? I think this is this is a good trailer for a good film that I don't want to see. Yeah. Does that mean it's a thumbs down? Um, I, technically, I guess by our, uh, by our strict, uh, our strict <laughs> by rules, our scientific rules, it's here. not about how good the trailer is. It's do we want to see it? Well, oh. we recommend it, and I've been doing I so, don't. I've been doing it differently the whole time. Well, you're wrong. Okay, not recommended by us. Yeah. All but. right, guys. Don't die in a fire. We'll see you next time.